And for those of you who may not already be spirit-filled with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, we have a little booklet in there by Dr. Kenneth Hagin Sr. called Why Tongues. It's going to give you 10 reasons why every believer should be filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. I just did this because I know sometimes when visitors or people come in here, we speaking in tongues, raising our hands, kind of doing stuff that you may not be accustomed to in the, in the church that you may be a member of or been visiting. So we just want to help you get some understanding about the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I guess I'm saying all that today, glory, I feel the anointing. How many of you feel the presence of God? Because today is Pentecost Sunday. Everybody say Pentecost Sunday. And what, what that simply means is, is that this is the time when believers all over the world commemorate and celebrate the, the visiting of the Holy Spirit in the upper room. Pentecost is one of the feasts of the Jews. It's a Jewish holiday. But how I many you know, according to the book of Acts, that was the day when God rebreathed his spirit back into the earth realm. And he made it available for any believer that desires to receive that power. So as we celebrate the day, I want you to be conscious throughout the day that this was the day over 2,000 years ago now that the Holy Spirit was reintroduced to the earth realm. See, in the old covenant, how God would use a man, the Holy Spirit would descend on a man where he might prophesy man or woman, then it would lift back off. Uh, but on the day of Pentecost, God breathed the Holy Spirit back into the earth realm and made it free for every believer to receive so you can operate in that power. Look at church three people say, it's a powerful day. Tell them the day is the day of Pentecost. <laughs> Come on, praise God. Before we dive into this word, let me pray. Father, we do thank you that forever, O oh Lord, is your word settled in the kingdom of heaven. And when your word goes forth, it does not, it cannot return unto you void but it does that which you have sent it forth to accomplish, to prosper in the thing whereunto you have sent it. So, Father, today we thank you for eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts to perceive, receive, and understand your word. God, we thank you for the healing anointing. Glory. For the healing anointing flowing in this house on these airways. Those of you who are viewing us today by internet, we send the word to wherever you may be in your dormitory room or in your office or your bedroom, wherever you may be viewing us via internet, we send the word to you. Jesus sent his word and he healed us. And matter of fact, we thank Jesus for healing us all. And we thank you that migraine headaches are subsiding and passing. High blood pressure in the name of Jesus is regulating. We speak to heart murmurs and irregular heartbeats right now in the name of Jesus the Christ and I command your heart to palpitate according to the design that the creator designed it to function in. Hallelujah. We speak to inflamed joints. We come up against old spirit of gout. In Jesus name. We speak Shut up, Uncle. Sir. To any type of internal infections, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, we command you to decease in your maneuvers. And we remind you that for this cause was the Son of Man made manifest that he has destroyed the works of the enemy. Not only has he destroyed them, but he made a show of them open, a triumphant over him in them. So now, God, we thank you. Oh, glory. 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 God, we send the word to hospitals. Word of healing. Thank you for creative miracles. Creative miracles. God, those things that were not there have been damaged by the enemy. We thank you that you are the God of restoration. Speak to kidney infections, bladder infections. You, you, urinary tract infections. Name of Jesus.
prostrate cancer. Enlarged prostrates. Deaf ears. We command you to unstop. Deaf ears. We command you to hear in Jesus' name. Blinded eyes, spiritually and naturally. Come open, see the wonders of his glory. Arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Speak healing to your knees, to your hip joints. All type of back pain. Speak to your vertebrae. And I command your vertebrates to line up. Line up now. Line up now. Line up now. Somebody heard a pop in the middle of their back right now. That's the power of God coming all over your body. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Come to more, Spirit of the living God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Breathe on us. Baptize us in the Holy Ghost again. A fresh, a new. Regenerate, rejuvenate our minds. We thank you that we give you place in our minds and in our bodies. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to God. Give glory to Give glory to God. Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to God. He's worthy of the praise.